welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. And yesterday, or two days ago, Disney released this awesome foodie guide to the Adventures Campus at the Disneyland Resort. So let's go see all this awesome food you'll be able to eat. Most of it being at Pim's Test Kitchen, but also Terra and Treats Swar- and Shawarma Palace. So let's see. Pim Test Kitchen, where mobile orders available, will have these awesome breakfast options right here. Look at this. Um, these are kids menu or kids portions as well right here. But you have the calculated breakfast, which is called E times two uh, plus B plus B plus P t- and and divided by T. That's this one. The eggs with the smoked bacon. Crispy potato bites and um, full full challah toast. Then you got the impossible quantum garden breakfast, which is a plant based folded omelet, which I believe is here with impossible breakfast sausage and crispy potato bites and full challah toast. Okay, so that actually is maybe here. Yeah, here is this is sausage. Then you have the ever expanding cinnamon toast, <laughs> cinnamon, cinnamon, uh, which is baked pim particle bread and egg custard with cinnamon sugar topping, fried egg, smoked bacon, and maple syrup. That's right here. And a spoonful of cereal, which is not pictured, but it's a big spoonful of bran flakes and raisins garnished with a yogurt covered pretzel and served with reduced fat milk on a ripe banana. Sounds good. Then you have nano eggs. Permanent 101, which is our selfly arranged eggs and turkey bacon with toast for small being this is that the the um the kids menu here. Then you have the cinnamon mini toast, which is a warm toasted, or actually this is what this is. Um cinnamon pim particle bread with turkey bacon and maple syrup, which is a kids menu. This is not picture the nano eggs. Other awesome cool drinks and sn- uh, snacks. This giant pretzel, which has been teased um, for a while now. You have these drinks, which I think I believe these are non-alcoholic. There's the Pim Tasting Lab, which has alcoholic drinks that come in different type of glasses. So these are non-alcoholic drinks. They have this really cool con- con- concoction here, which seems to incorporate that giant pretzel again, but this time a whole bunch of stuff on it. The giant pretzel is called the Quantum Pretzel, which is 453.8 grams. Wow. It's a Bavarian-style pretzel with sharp cheddar beer sauce. The Atomic Fusion Pretzel, which has to be this, is a buffalo-style pretzel loaded with chicken, hot sauce, ranch dressing, blue cheese crumbles, celery, and dill pickled carrots. The Pingo Dose, Dose or Jose? Dose, has a refreshing lemon-lime, so that's up here, with a vanilla kick. This distinctly green beverage from Avenger Lore, Avenger Lore exclusively at Avenger Campus. Um, I saw in the Fresh Bake video that this is actually um, has a connection to the Hulk movies, the original Hulk movie, um, which is pretty cool. Apparently, Stan Lee drinks this um, in the refrigerator. Then there's Proton PB&J Lunch, which is a Minute Maid lemonade with peanut butter and strawberry flavors. Peanut, uh, peanut butter infused whipped cream and peanut butter pretzel spheres. Uh, this doesn't say this is for the little ones, but most likely it's also, it would be mostly for the little ones. Moving on to these awesome things, especially this one. This is another one that's been teased for a while. I can't wait to try this. This is a massive piece of chicken on a tiny, tiny, tiny bun. That looks, um, that looks super cool. I love the idea that, you know, it'll be shrinking. Foods will be shrinking and growing based on uh, going in or out of the quantum tunnel. So these are blue particle specials. And oh, by the way, you can buy these particles and like place them in like your drinks and stuff, alcoholic or non-alcoholic drinks, as like little glow sticks. So these are blue particles. And up here are the red particles. You can buy those, which is super cool. Or down, down here, those red particles. So there's the Pimini, Pimini like Panini. And it has salami. Rosemary ham, provolone, sun dried tomato spread on toasted fochata with marinara dipping sauce and ar- argula salad. That, I'm 
right there. That's that right there. There's a not so little chicken sandwich, which is obviously right here. Fried chicken breast, teriyaki, and red chili sauces, pickled cabbage slaw on brochet with crispy potato bites. There's peanut butter PB cubed superb sandwich. Now that'd be hilarious if this was came an actually an actual cube. Um or if there just came like three stacks of P like a PB and J, but like a massive one, like three PB and J's on one because it's cubed. It's not a picture here, but that'd be awesome if that's what it came like. I'll be checking I'll be checking that out on June 6th. But it's a warm PB and J with banana, candied bacon on pin particle bread, but with micro banana smoothie and a crispy potato bites. And then there's the Caesar salad, which is a colossal crouton, hearts of romaine, Kalamata olives, pickled onions, Caesar dressing, garlic crouton, and parmesan crisps. That's actually here. Yeah, this Caesar salad is like a reverse, an inverse Caesar salad um, because of the way it came through the quantum tunnel. So that's pretty cool. And see all the dressings wrapped around this big uh, thing of romaine lettuce here. There's Impossible Spoonful, which looks like it'd be right here. It has a rigatoni and ditali, ditalini pastas, plant-based meatballs, which is right here, tomato sauce, dairy-free parmesan, and micro basil. And then the Choco Smash Candy Bar, which is dark, cho dark chocolate, peanuts, caramel, nougat, and chocolate brownie, which is not pictured. Here are the kids' menus. Kids, uh, the Teeny Pimini, which is right here, has the toasted ham and provolone sandwich with marinara dipping sauce, subatomic chicken sandwich, which is right here. It's a very teeny version of the massive one we just saw, which is crispy breaded chicken toast on a soft roll. PB and J flavor lab. Assemble your own experience. It's a build your own smooth peanut butter, strawberry jelly, and pim particle bread right up there. Mini pasta and pasta meatballs, which is right here. Rigatoni and diddlini pastas, plant-based meatballs, tomato sauce, and dairy-free parmesan served with coconut milk, yogurt, and small sunny water. And that's it for the Pim Tasting Kitchen, which sounds super good and super exotic. I love the themed food. You know, we're getting here, then Galaxy's Edge, and uh, again at Universal with the uh, Hogwarts, and uh, the theme stuff at Jurassic, which is cool. The theme park experience is growing. With now food into play. There's the Pim Tasting Lab, which is the microbrewery. It has a whole assortment of drinks, which can be kind of shown here. And we have the Honey Buzz, which is gin, lemon juice, and honey syrup with a honey straw. The Experiment, uh -huh. tequila, minimated lime juice, mango, and habanero syrups with mango popping per pearls. Honey Fusion, gin, minimated lemonade, honey syrup, IPA, and a honey straw. Molecular Meltdown, Marshmallow Milk Stout, and Vanilla Ice Cream Top with the Miniature Marshmallows. The Regulator, Tequila, Minimate Lime Juice, Mango and Harbonara Syrup, Wheat Ale and Mango Popping Pearls. Particle Fizz, Hard Seltzer with Cherry Pearls. Trap Beer, Hard Seltzer and Wine. Uh, and Snack Molecules, Mini Pretzels, Honey Raised, Honey Roasted Peanuts, and Sweet and Spicy Popped Sorghum. Then... Moving on to the shawarma palace, which I'm not the biggest fan of shawarma or Middle Eastern food, but I gotta admit, this picture just looks delicious. I particularly love tacos, and this looks like a taco, taco version. And this looks really good. I mean, even the meats inside here looks so good. I might have to go and get one of those when I'm there on June 6th. So, and it's awesome, by the way. Let's just take a moment that. Uh, like an ad-libbed, I think it was an improv line by Robert Downey Jr. saying, let's go get some swarmer, turn to an end credit scene. Now look, now it's in, has its own food cart and Avengers Campus, which is really cool. So look at that. Robert Downey Jr. approving one line can make things happen. <laughs> and in the swarmer cart, you'll have New York's tastiest chicken swarm, which is a chicken swarmer wrap. Garlic spread and coconut yogurt tahini sauce with pickled vegetables. Then you have the Impossible Victory Falafel, which looks to be this because it looks like impossible meat. Plant-based falafel and cauliflower wrap. Garlic spread, hummus, and co 
coconut yogurt, tahini sauce with pickle, vegetables. And I can kind of see pickles right there. Then the collector wants to get on the food fun. Um, and this is Terra and Treats in, out in front of Guardians of Galaxy Mission Breakout. And they'll have two desserts, the Cosmic Cream Orb, which is this. And it is a crispy uh, cream puff with whipped raspberry cheesecake mousse, which is very interesting. I mean, it looks so interesting, I definitely might have to take a peek, take a, take a taste, and do a little food review on that. Then, the Sweet Spiral Rotate Ration, which is a churro, but it's a spiral churro, which is pretty cool, and they come in uh, unique flavors, and they won't say what the flavors are, so I'll definitely have to taste, get maybe a couple of those, because it looks smaller, at least when this picture looks smaller than a normal chair, because it's all wrapped up. I'll get a couple of those and see what flavors we get. This one looks like maybe, a, if it goes by the color, like a lime flavor. That'd be kind of interesting. Mm, I don't know how I'd feel about that. What unique flavors do you think this churro will have? And what unique flavors are gross or good to you? There's some souvenirs you'll also be able to get at these food carts. Again, like the the red and green, uh, red and blue particles, and the looks like associated charging stations or something. You'll be able to keep the or buy specific mugs, alcohol mugs to take home. You can buy this little sipper. And something I might get, Iron Man's Infinity Gauntlet, which you can hold your lovey drinks with. And that is it. Those are the um, all the food options, the food we got at the Avengers Campus at the Disneyland Resort. I cannot wait to try some of this food and some of these snacks and even get some of these novelties. What is your favorite food and what are you most excited for? Let me know in the comments below. Are you excited to get to Avengers Campus? How excited will you be there opening day? If you're there June 6th, come say hi to me because I'll be right there. Let me know what your uh, favorite favorite food or drink. Food could be alcohol uh, or just the normal, the non-alcoholic drinks. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, press that thumbs up, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.